What is up, Walden Sports fam? It is Wednesday. Yep, yep. We're coming back at you with a little bit of what the hell happened this week. It's been, well, whoa, whoa, a couple whoa, weeks. Whoa, whoa. What, what the heck happened last week? What done heckin' happened this week, guys? <laughs> so, um, The Olympia happened. Yeah, that was... That was cool. About 10 days ago, yeah. I think, yeah. So We're a little bit late. Eh, yeah, okay. but... We're going to get better at these. We're going to get better at these. So Phil won again. Mm -hmm. It was weird not seeing Kai on stage. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. He belongs there. I missed his posing. He's the best poser yeah, in this like, whole sport. We were just talking about it before this. Like, a lot of these guys don't put much into their routine. Like, Phil, he had a little bit of flair. Yeah, he, he had a little pep in his step. Yeah. Like, he, had, he, had, he added more. Like, he saw him, like, caress the back of his leg. It was, it was kind of really funny. Good. Really? It was frozen. It was frozen. <laughs> it was frozen. He's going in on good. this food over here. <laughs> um, um, but Big Ramey, holy crap. He's huge. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, was, I mean, he's, I, mean, I think you said he was 5'10, which isn't super tall, but for a bodybuilder, it's taller. But listen, listen, like 295 pounds. And when he got there, he was 305, so he dropped weight like while he was at yeah. the competition. That's like just shorter him. than us with I 100 like, his, extra pounds. I want to see his back. But yeah, his back's insane. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, it's the it, it is a huge thing for the Middle East too, because I mean, holy shit! Oh my. oh my gosh! Yeah, we'll we'll try we'll put like a little picture here <laughs> as we're like admiring his back. It's crazy, but yeah, like, so it's insane. A guy from Egypt, it's a really big thing for the Middle East, because I mean, bodybuilding's huge over there, but they haven't had a whole it's... lot of success in like the competitions over here. Well, they've always not that. It's not that they haven't had success. They haven't won. Yeah. But their guys are always huge. I know. They, yeah. they produce the biggest bodybuilders. Yeah, it's crazy. It's insane. And then, yeah, two of the top three guys were not from the U.S. The third place, I don't remember his name, but I think he was from um, the Netherlands or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, it's, it's, still, it's still a global sport. It's yeah. not dying by any means. So maybe America might not take the, take the uh, win next year. Yeah, really. Big Ramey, this is the most conditioned we've ever seen him. Yeah, um, he was he was pretty dry. He was looking pretty good. Yeah. Well, but, was, you, you know, you could still see Phil Heath's belly button more. Yeah. I know, like, he was showing me the video. <laughs> see his belly button sticking out. He became an Audi because he was so cut up. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> one other thing that I thought was worth mentioning is, a lot of people know, the uh, the Miss Olympia thing is gone. Like, they, that top woman's bodybuilding mm -hmm. class is out. And, and I don't know, it's kind of interesting because, um... I mean, like a lot of these dudes are like we, we'll say like they're they're freaks more or less, kind of, and, and to put it yeah. one way. And I mean, they're mass monsters. It's I don't know why they got rid of that. Yeah. In the first place, yeah, it, Miss Olympia. It was losing some popularity. I mean, there was I mean some criticism whether right for or not. I mean, I, I think they should have kept it. I, I mean, think it, 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 like women's bodybuilding is making a comeback though. Like, yeah. It's still alive. You go to local shows, you know, like big like there are big local shows and they still have. Women's body. Mm -hmm. Cause they still have like all the stuff below it, but I don't know. I feel like it's 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 something's missing. Cause what's her name? Iris Kyle mm -hmm. was the last one to win it, which kind of it's kind of fitting if it's, if it's gonna end. Cause right. she was insane. But she had been winning it. Yeah, for like ten years. I think. Yeah, yeah, she's crazy. Insane. She's crazy. But I don't know, I think it should bring it back. But like the women that compete in the you know in the Olympia right now, you get figure and physique. Mm -hmm. They pretty much bodybuilders anyway. Yeah, what's the way what's they, the the way they have to Where they do like the like the fitness one? Fitness. That's exactly what it is fitness. Yeah, like they're one they do the tricks and stuff. Like, yeah, the tricks, but yeah, it's, that's absurd. The same <coughs> the same girl has been winning that one too. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I like that because like actually show like some like athletic feats in a way. Yeah, there's not a lot of people that can do that. <laughs> oh no, yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> I always love seeing like bodybuilders do the splits they, on stage those, and stuff. Those tricks can kill me. Yeah. But um so on to another thing, um, there was a, a cool study that came out um, related to dieting, so everyone's always trying to lose weight, so what can we learn to improve that? So there was a study that we'll have a link to, it'll be on our uh, Facebook page. 16 weeks of constant versus 30 total weeks of two on and two, what does that mean? Yeah, so, this. so there's the cyclic dieting and the constant dieting, so what we typically think of is like, oh, I'll diet for, in this case it was 16 weeks, just Clark deficit the whole time. They they adjusted it a bit based on like the person's weight because you have to change it a little bit throughout. Mm -hmm. And then same with the other one. But instead of they did the 16 weeks of deficit, but they kind of did two weeks on and two off. So you'd be two weeks in a deficit, two weeks at maintenance. Not eating 
eating your ass off, but like just maintenance. It's keeping that. So you're what they eat, found, you're still eating clean. Yeah, yeah. So and the cool part of the study was they actually delivered the meals right to the people. So that kind of helped with the dietary adherence, like in general. So yeah, a lot, a lot less um, variance in that. So the big thing was so the constant group lost 17.6 pounds. And the on and off group lost 27 pounds. The on and off one was for 30 weeks, not 16. Yeah, it's like 16 <clears throat> weeks of dieting. So like two weeks on, two weeks off. So like this, the, 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 oh, the same amount oh. of time in the deficit, yeah. So, so you're still spending two weeks at a deficit, or 16 weeks total at a deficit. Yeah, yeah. And, okay, I see. So basically like they were trying to see, oh, will hmm. going up or down like in certain ways affect What's the weight loss? What's the explanation for that? So um, a lot of it has to... The, the, the thought behind it is kind of like affecting your metabolic rate. I mean, one of the things was that the, the on and off group had less of, like, less of a reduction in their resting energy expenditure because when, when you're in a deficit for so long, I know we talked to, uh, what's his name about this, Perillo about this, yeah. like the metabolic damage you undergo. <laughs> if, if you're starving your body for so long, yeah. it'll, it'll adjust. And so the, the premise behind this is that you won't adjust as much. So, huh. I mean, it... It does take more total time, so I mean, like if you have the time. Did they maintain kind of, more muscle though? Yeah, so they they um they lost a little bit less uh, lean mass, not much. I think just like a pound, pound and a half difference. Yeah. But um. Well, so that's a lot. Mm -hmm, I mean, yeah, but it's more of like if if you've got the time to really extend it out, which hopefully you do. Well, then, you could almost do it like. You, it, this doesn't have to be a competition diet. This yeah. can just be like if you're looking to lose weight on your own. Yeah. Like I'm this is more realistic yeah. almost because the two on two off kind of helps even more with the adherence because you're not getting those same cravings all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's almost like you, you work for two weeks and then you go on vacation and you just keep doing that over and over again. Yeah. And then there was also less of a rebound because you know, like you'll think you, oh, you get super cut up and then a month later you lost your abs. Right. So the, the on and off group didn't have that same rebound. They maintained the weight loss. But um, one thing to keep in mind, so just kind of a tip about reading studies. Oh, wait, sorry, I ahead. wonder if it goes the opposite. I wonder if you can do this the other way too. Like I wonder bulking? if you can bulk this way. Actually, you just eat a ton be... for two weeks and then get maintenance, and then That's eat a ton for two weeks and then maintenance. So I notice like whenever huh. I come off a cut and I go to bulk, like I'll get huge. I mean, right. obviously glycogen stores and everything. Like you look fuller, but I want to try. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always thinking about how to get bigger. But, um, <laughs> So one thing Shut to keep up. in mind, um, <laughs> this was done on like overweight slash obese people, so that will change a bit. Um, and there's still obviously some applicable things from this. I mean, yeah. something I'm going to try down the road too. But some of this stuff doesn't always carry over like that. But this seems like something that would, to some extent at least. Um, but like, it still sheds light on the issues with common diets. I mean, the people who like won't eat enough or right. be damaged, like they don't do your metabolism. But just something to think about when you're reading studies is look who it's done on to see, oh, is this just like some BS study or, and also like if it's done men, women, or both, that can affect it too. Well, it seems cons like if they still, if they use all obese people for both yeah. types of diets, it's consistent. So you still have a control group and then, you know, one, it still works. It seems yeah. like it checks out still. Mm -hmm. But I mean. The only thing is like, does it work for lead people? Exactly. Will it work for you and me? Who knows? Yeah. We can try it. I don't want to diet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll try that. it when I'm done bulking, I guess. But. I'm fine. From a bulk. Yeah, so we'll try this with the bulking. <laughs> Anthony uh, does, doesn't have any coordination and doesn't do or watch sports. <laughs> I used to play baseball. <laughs> and soccer. Second grade doesn't count. Karate and jiu-jitsu. <laughs> so, um, a lot, of, a lot of sports stuff is going on. Put you in the headline. Uh... <laughs> uh, so, so sports, um, a lot of NBA madness going on. Um, Cavs fans are pretty happy because I mean they got out to you a few weeks ago. And now they got Dwayne Wade. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> he's not a big sports guy. Is he you know? good? Dwayne Wade is good. He's getting older, but he's the Cavs have him, right? Yeah. Is he good? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm happy. And then, I'm from um, Cleveland, so <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, as long as we're in Cleveland, sports is like. But um. Melo now on the Thunder. That's gonna be crazy. The West, the West is loaded now. I mean, this is gonna be the Cavs in the East. Who, who are we kidding? And then um, the beasts in the East. Yeah, I mean, the Celtics will contend, but that's so He's gonna get to the finals. Um, 
So the NFL's also been going on. Um, I think we recorded our first one right before the season started. So anyone who follows it knows it's been a wacky season, just in general, really up and down. Um, Tom Brady's still the goat. And um, what, all right, what what does that mean? Goat. Like, what is the goat? Take a guess. And, I don't know. What is it? It's all capitalized. You put it. You put it here. It's all. It's, all it's an acronym. Yeah. What does it mean? Take wait, a guess. Goals. He's really good. Over. And he's been on, good for a on, while. Hang on. Goals. No. Over all the time. You got like the all time and sort of over. Like oh yeah. Well, so what do you think the G is? Though? Get out all time. It's greatest of all time. Oh, greatest of all time. Yeah, you're, you're sort of getting there. The G is the hard part. I got it. I thought it made the way more creative. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Pause it, my desk. I'm not pausing this. Right. This is going on tape. Yeah. Lastly, the big thing going on in the NFL is the anthem protests. Um, he doesn't want to get into it. I don't. I don't want to get political because yeah. I don't. I don't want to get angry and frustrated. Yeah, he's he's an irritable person, yeah. but um, I'm not irritable. I am irritable, but there's things that irri irritate me. My irritableness more than others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the biggest thing is when you see stuff going around, just make sure it's true or not. There's all sorts of stuff on social media that people will post and never fact check. I'm hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked our video, and we'll do our best to continue to actually do this weekly. So be sure to like us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, follow us on Twitter. We're trying that now. It's Twitter's fun. Eh, I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on the video.